Pink Hey Dreamer, please. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We'll finally be checking out Sado's T15 raid. So just a quick overview of the team, Karin, Shea, Rudy, Ming, Chris, Serena, Rachel, and Koset. Now, I know many people don't have Koset, so you can use Dylan, you can use Miss Velvet, you can use Shane, okay, Nestra, Shane, whatever DPS you use, you can put them there, okay, you don't necessarily need Koset. You can even use Luki over Serena as well, okay, as additional damage and for more movement speed. If you don't have Chris, you can also, you know, like what I said, use Luki, okay. So over here in the beginning, you realize that there's actually a pocket of safety, okay, right behind the first bar that he casts. So it's actually recommended if you go there to hide out because the first line will actually disappear the fastest as, you know, expected. So you can actually damage him and save time instead of hiding all the way until all three lines are gone. Okay, yeah, so over here again, you realize one thing that I usually do is to shift the camera angle so that it will be perpendicular to my vision. Okay, I find that that is a lot easier to navigate. Okay, when it comes to this sword graveyard thing, always go near the circumference, okay, of the inner circle and then just swoop back in. And you also realize that your heroes are automatically spread out after that. So just take note that your range hero, the one at the back, will not be still in the sword grave yet. So over here, he actually teleported to the middle and that means he is going to use his uh, ultimate. You need to check if you have Rudy shield up. If you don't, you have to use a pet for the immunity because he will kill you with this knockback, okay? So thankfully, I had the shield up, so I didn't take too much damage. But if you don't, yeah, you will be slayed. So during the suppressor skill, just do as much damage as you can. Um, yeah, here again, swap grave. Yeah, usually I will gather my heroes one one entire circle. Okay, the timing should be just right. Run out and then go back in. So here, yep, yeah, I'm near the pocket of safety. So yeah, as I, as you can see, I tilt my camera again so that it's perpendicular to my vision. And I don't waste time waiting for the other lanes to be gone. I can immediately damage him after the first lane is gone. His skills are quite typical. So here I, I did lag a bit. <laughs> so my heroes died. And sometimes things like that could happen. But as long as your Karin is alive, I think you still have a very good chance. So one thing I would suggest is to control Karin. Yeah, and as you saw that I was just you know a little off focus after some of he was died so i didn't realize that he was going to cast his suppressor skill so always always try to focus on where salios is and if your camera angle you know is something like me where you cannot really see salios then uh, you need to adjust that usually i like to pay attention to my heroes more which you know may not be the best strategy but yeah just to let you guys know so the way the team works is that Shay and Rudy will really really help you. Um, that's why Shay, I think this first page of heroes, the four that you really want to have on the same uh, slider. So when setting up the team, make sure you see Karin, Shay, Ming and Rudy on the first four boxes on the right so that they will be on the same page and you don't have to toggle between them when you're using their skills. So if you realize over here, he, he just teleported and if you just saw a while ago, I didn't realize that. Okay, I was just so caught up and I was blocked, my view was blocked. And over here, he managed to kill my Ming, <laughs> to my surprise. I mean, given that, you know, you saw him teleport, you, if you don't have the Rudy Show, you can use your pet. Okay, use an immunity pet, borrow an immunity pet, okay, in order for you to be uh, damage free before his suppression skill so that your Ming won't die because there are times when I experience whereby my Ming died and I even though I revived her I couldn't click on the suppressor skill uh, fast enough and then I just you know my entire team died so not the best uh, situation you want to be in yeah so as I was saying these four heroes on the same slider will be very good for you uh, because mainly you'll be clicking their skills quite a bit especially in the second half where I will talk more about them. So now we are in the second half. This is where things get a little crazier because he hits a lot harder somehow. 
um, and if you don't have the immunity, the damage immunity, you probably won't make it too. Okay, that's that's just a fact. So here he disappears. Usually I will turn off my auto skill and my ultimates. Okay, just to see what happens. So here it is the sword. So I turn on my auto skill again and then let my heroes just uh, kill the swords. One thing you realize that is I queued for Shay's skill and my Rudy's ultimate is ready. The reason for that is because Look at here, he removes all buffs, so the moment you see remove buffs, buffs removed, you have to cast Rudy Shield because he'll do a very 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 painful knockback. Okay, if you don't do this, your entire team will be wiped. I guarantee. <laughs> okay, so the reason why I had to manually turn off the ultimates and then only use Shay's ultimate is really to ensure that I have Rudy's ultimate ready. You may be thinking, why not just use the immunity from the pet? It doesn't work, I've tried it. Somehow it just doesn't work. If it works for you, then good for you, okay? So when the circles come out, usually one thing I've learned is that to look at the one that is disappearing the next, okay? Not look at the empty spaces. So as you can see, I've put arrows here to show you guys where I was looking at in order to get to my safety zone, okay? That is something that has helped me tremendously ever since I changed my perspective of things because usually I would look at the empty slots and where I should run to but nowadays I, I decided that I'm going to look at the ones that just disappeared and then running, uh, running over there actually was a much better strategy for me so maybe you guys can try that out. So again here he did his suppression skill and I had no shield and no pad to use so that was really luck and I guess it was partially also because of my Ming's uh, level and uh, gear, later I'll talk about that. So over here you realize that I turned off my ultimate again because I didn't want anything to be left to chance. So most of the time I was on slide 2 now, manually activating the ultimates, also ensuring that my Rudy doesn't use his ultimate until the swords and the knockback happens. Okay, so this is a little laborious, okay, very tedious in fact, because you have to manually look at four outs. And even though I did that, you know, I still didn't watch him because I was so busy clicking on the outs, I didn't look at him and I still got knocked back. <laughs> but that is still not the most painful knockback. The more painful knockback is actually the one right after the swords. So yeah, this is one strategy you can do. So one alternative is that you manually cast current skill whereby you turn off a skill, okay, and only use the shield when you see him teleporting to cast his suppressor. That's also another possible way you can, you know, get some extra shields and extra health. Okay, so here he disappears again. I turn off my out, my auto manual skill and uh, my out. And since it's the swords, okay, we definitely need to have Rudy's uh, shield ready. You may not have enough damage to kill the sword, and if that happens, you do need to cast some ultimates on it, okay? Yeah, and thankfully here, I did cast the shield on time, as you can see here, so I uh, definitely lived through that. That's the most important part in the entire Salio's second half, okay? So here again, I looked at the where the things disappeared and then moving towards there. Usually the black smoke is the place that you want to go, not so much um, wherever is empty before that. <laughs> okay, that's one thing I, I learned. He cuts his skills quite often, okay, in the second half, whereby it didn't give me a chance to do as much damage as I would like to. Here, as you can see, I did see him teleport, so I cast my pet skill it quickly. Um, but I didn't think it was necessary because my Rudy's skill was actually up. But you know, as I said, anything can happen. So I wanted to keep the Rudy's uh, shield for the knockback after the swords. And I was manually doing my outs again, uh, which was you know definitely the most tedious way to do this. But if you guys can manage without controlling the ultimate or just by relying on Karin's uh, shield, then you know, good enough. Yeah, as you can see here, you know, I'm pretty sure I may not have gotten Rudy's shield back in time, so that's why it's great to have his shield 
prepared for this moment. I was a little scared because his shield lagged a bit. <laughs> so that was quite a scary part for me because if he didn't cast his shield along with, you know, right before he did the knockback, I would have died completely. And now we are really down to the last 10% or so. So it is really all out damage and make sure you survive with all the tips that I've given you. Tilt your camera angle where you need so that you will run in a straight line instead of you know being wobbly and sometimes your some of your heroes may may just you know be out of the loop. And don't hesitate anymore whereby when you see the red zone just you know make a run for it. I'm also very lucky here, my Ming literally survived on 1 HP. Um, so I think having a level 42 Ming, because when I was doing this at level 48, she really couldn't handle the damage. So I think level 42 is a great, great um, level. Uh, if you don't have as good gear on her, which I will talk about later, I think higher having a higher level Ming is definitely going to help a lot. Okay. So I hope it helped and if you have any personal strategies that you have for Salios, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments and with that we are going to talk about the gear that I have on my heroes. It is quite specific I would say um, but if you don't have these I will also talk about other alternatives that you can have. For my current I'm on skill cooldown. Okay you see that I also have an a revive ring, a revive year ring on her. Okay, but you don't necessarily need to because as you saw, my current didn't actually die in the whole battle, or did she? <laughs> okay, but I think my team didn't die, uh, rather my current definitely didn't die in this particular recording. She did die previously, but thing is even if you have the revive ring and your current is not strong enough, she will still die uh, before she gets her AOE revive. Because when she revives, she'll have no ultimate gauge. Yeah, so you have to build it up from there. So for my Ming, I've given her a damage decrease receive damage receive decrease uh, accessory set, and that is the three piece. It only decreases by a ten percent. Okay, that's not a lot. Okay, to be honest, but it was enough for her to survive quite a number of times, as you saw earlier on. So I think this is pretty pretty uh, important for Ming. Okay, especially if your Ming gear is not very strong you saw mine is basically just you know legend gear but not upgraded at all for my shade i've given her this one this legend plus accessory i'm sure most of you have gotten it through the story if you haven't all the best in your very hard difficulty it actually increases her ultimate gauge with every basic attack so this pairs very well with her passive whereby she also charges her ultimate gauge with basic attacks so you can recycle out very very quickly and the rest of my heroes well basically Chris is on skill cool, skill up increase rare set only uh, will be better if I have the legend set of course Kosa is on crit gear Serena is on radiant my random radiant gear set okay is not upgraded at all okay uh, Rachel is on attack set as you can see so more damage on Rachel and co set these two are my main DPSs if you have more DPSs you want to slot in by all means so level 25 masteries you have I put a mixed increased attack for all okay and then all mostly focused on or damage oriented masteries if you find that you're taking too much damage you may want to swap some to defensive especially for level 95 level 95 allows you to increase your damage and decrease your damage taken in the raid itself so i think this will be the most influential mastery that uh, you should have to conquer this for potentials my co-set has full attack my current has full defense and almost full hp my chris has somewhat uh, 60 percent attack okay my Rachel has 60 percent HP defense and almost full attack that's something I'm working on my Ming uh, not not built at all <laughs> okay my Serena not built at all and uh, my Shea also not really built I mean 50 percent HP that's about it and my Rudy max defense and about 75 percent HP 
So for my divinity, this is the current level. Again, I will strongly focus on the red ones and the skill cooldown for maximum possible damage. So if this video helped, do give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any suggestions for sellers, remember to leave them in the comments. Big shout out to my channel members, Christopher, Tom, Gonzalo, Jeremy, Yamaki, Bilal, Fahas, and Reggie for their support. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much and see you.